State of the Port 2020 Pack the House. More than 750 people filled the Grand Ballroom of the Long Beach Convention Center. Eager to hear Port of Long Beach Executive Director Mario Cordero deliver the annual address, celebrating the innovation in marine terminals and declaring 2020 the year of collaboration. Ours is a big team. It is a great team. I believe we will work together as never before. This past year, the tariff war with China, our largest trading partner, escalated. Import and export orders declined. Our container cargo volume dropped 5% from the previous year to 7.6 million container units. Nevertheless, 2019 was our second busiest year ever for container cargo. We need to compete. We need to innovate. We need to lead. And most of all, we need to collaborate. We need to bring all the stakeholders together, the uh, terminal operators, ocean carriers, truckers, every single stakeholder involved and make sure that we can promote our ports and tell the world that we are ready to move their cargo in a better and more efficient way than anyone else. The relationship uh, between the terminals and the truckers is very good at this point in time. We as an industry hold monthly meetings with these terminals. Maybe a terminal has something that they want to roll out, they reach out to the trucking industry. Continuously, year over year, we've gotten better. You're definitely seeing that collaboration is helping turn times. Our terminals and ILWU labor are unrivaled in the loading and unloading of big ships. Total Terminals International added two new cranes, big enough to work the world's largest vessel. Pacific Container Terminal last year completed raising nine cranes. The Harbor Commission recently approved a 20-year lease extension with SSA and their partner, Costco Shipping, the world's third largest ocean carrier. The productivity at that terminal is 15 to 20 percent higher than any other terminal in LA Long Beach. It's 30 minutes average turn time. That's also the best in the harbor. Our lease is also worded in a way where we need the cleanest and greatest equipment. Rolling out at our terminals this year are demonstration projects for new zero emission vehicles. Our terminals and longshore labor are all helping to put clean air machines into action. We've got a skilled trained workforce. They know their jobs. We want to make sure that we can move forward in this zero emission world with humans operating it. And we look forward to being part of the solution to increase cargo volume and bring back some of the business uh, that they talk about at the Port of Long Beach. All of that is allowing the Port of Long Beach to have an even bigger impact on the community. In my years working with the Port, nothing has changed more than the Port's embrace of its community responsibilities. Where the port once supported one in eight jobs here, our latest economic study shows the port has increased its employment impact to one in five jobs in Long Beach. That's 51,000 jobs just in our city. We significantly increased our pool of scholarships. The Board of Harbor Commissioners awarded more than $4 million and community grants for projects to add local green space and improve parks. We're dedicated to being a good neighbor. If you'd like to watch the address in its entirety, please visit polb.com forward slash state of the port.